Hey honey bunches, welcome back to another video. If you're new, my name's Phoebe, welcome. Um, today's a cool day, it's Monday the 4th of July, which is the day a Frankie magazine comes out, which I'm in. Um, it's around lunchtime, and even though I've ordered one coming in the mail, letter mail doesn't come today, boring, boring. Um, it comes like Tuesdays, Thursdays. So, so I'm setting off um, in search of one in like a news agent. The issue is a special mental health issue. It's their second feel good issue, but it is Frankie. So I'm assuming it will be at news agents and all the usual places. I also do want that sort of news agent e moment to like going in and seeing it. I'm not really expecting to find it just because this doesn't feel real. And I'm really nervous. I clearly was nervous because last night I had a dream where they put in like, anyway, not the content I submitted, just like this awful example of my work. And I was like, whew, um, I've never had a dream even before exams, I don't like stress dreams, so that was an experience. If I don't find a copy, well, that will be extremely underwhelming. But hopefully I do. I might buy myself some lunch and get myself a few copies, hopefully. And yeah, I'll explain a bit later how this came about. Trying to ride the wave, you know? You gotta, you gotta celebrate and hype yourself up for these things when they happen. It's pretty cool. Hello! I just took some pictures of me with this and um, got very excited and read it and it's such a beautiful issue. Um, being all about mental health, it has a section on people who've pivoted careers for their mental health. Emotional support animals or therapy animals are a bit outside the box. Their first feel-good issue was honestly like my favourite one of theirs ever and this one, well, obviously biased and I don't know if I mentioned this but the byline on the front says sensible advice, ways to calm your mind and chocolate pie. So I'm a Frankie cover girl, lol, in the only way she'd want to be. <laughs> this is such a thrill. And even though, honestly, outside of today and maybe this moment, um, I've really just been like not feeling it. When I knew I was going to be in it when they approached me a few months back and yeah, seeing it in the fleshy, it's a real personal fist pump moment. I was like a proper Frankie um, fangirly throughout all my teen years. I haven't like been a consistent reader of it recently, probably just for cost reasons, not prioritising um, magazines, but they are such like a, I guess like a Melbourne based like cultural institution um, <laughs> that's like global. You can probably guess their aesthetic rubbed off on me big time growing up and influences <laughs> my taste. So maybe it's not the hugest leap that that happened, but still very exciting. Um, I think it's really important to be like transparent about these things if you can be to sort of hopefully 
to democratize the space as much as possible. It waxes and wanes how much energy I put into freelance food writing. I guess this is the first bigger um, fruit to my labor in that department. I was doing a lot of it last year and I pitched to them multiple times. If you've read Frankie, you'll know that they don't always include recipes and if they do, it's like a one recipe thing and my pitches were maybe a bit, um, well, they were a bit outside their budget because they were a bit uh, multidisciplinary, um, a bit bigger and it would have been a bit of a step forward but mainly in cost for them um if they were to like my ideas and they were also changing editors the current editor is emma doe who was just putting like a epic stamp on it the flavor of the most recent issues is like really i don't know evolving it keeping it on the pulse of the moment yeah so i was pitching to them quite a bit last year um i knew they were super busy though as well so i sort of eased off on it then um they approached me a few months back and actually asked if, if they could include in this special issue something which I'd already written, which is particularly gratifying because they approached me through an email which is on my website. They clearly looked through my stuff, so it's like, yay, worth doing a new website if it's reflecting my work in a light that, you know, like Frankie is um, okay with. And yes, it was paid fairly in my eyes. And because I um, made it again, did a few little revisions, included like there's a low spoons method because I thought "Mm, people might not want to be bothered to make this into a full tart and so there's a method if you just you know not feeling it on the day which I think speaks to the mental health issue vibe I took a new photograph which um is not usually the done thing and it's very in keeping with the issue I it is kind of enlightening though and I found this with big mouth as well like a bit of extra time has been I've had to put it on my end because my monitor is not super um accurate like when we print like this is a little bit uh, you can't really see it on the camera (laughs) it's all like camera tricks but the the coloring in real life is a bit uh more yellow maybe that's just me or maybe I'm just being fussy and critiquing how screen converts to print I think there is you know something to be said for monitors which are I don't know Uh, have graphics in mind and do reflect colors accurately and the only thing I'm a little sad they didn't put honey bunch of onion tops with it um I wondered how they were going to do that because usually with recipes it's an excerpt from a book and this is um from someone's website so they've said recipe and photo by Phoebe Thorburn but um yes a little bit sad that honey bunch of onion tops didn't make it on there but that's okay um what a moment very cool 